and maybe a little bit excited. I've been waiting literally years for this. But I'm just relieved it's finally happening. That's right, a Class 230 has finally entered service on the Wrexham Bidston line. There is currently only one Class 230 in service, providing a two hourly service on the Wrexham Bidston line, but this is the first time we've had trains for about four weeks, thanks to the ongoing issues that TFW have had with rolling stock and some engineering works that happened. But it's just great that the Class 230s are finally in service and that we've got train services operating on the Wrexham Bidston line. Uh, TFW are working hard in the background to try and get a further 230 in service so they can operate the hourly service once again. Not entirely sure when that's gonna happen, uh, but I'm going to say they're working on getting the additional 230 in service as soon as possible. Now these trains were supposed to be in operation about three years ago but I don't want to dwell on that in this episode. Today I just want to show you around the train a little bit and celebrate the introduction of these units. The one thing I do like about these trains is the wide gangway. Now I know they're only three cars long but it's just nice to be able to move throughout a train without having to open doors and it's particularly helpful if the service does get busy and it does get busy particularly on match days and in the morning heading into Wrexham the train does get quite busy so it's good that passengers can kind of move through the train and find a seat if they need to. So being ex uh, London Underground D78 stock they do have longitudinal seating so there's some through there and some there but these seats what are they like Jen? They are actually very comfortable, nice, plenty of padding. And what's so special about these seats? I like the fact they've got these single USB sockets here. It's just a nice little touch where you couldn't fit a full socket. This train's full of nice little touches like that. So these units do have longitudinal seating, but fear not, they do have airline style seats as well. So we've got one here. This is one of the standard, I guess you'd call it a standard airline seat. Um, Leg room is not massive, but there is, there's enough. There are plenty of priority airline seats, and there are lots and lots of table seats as well. So what are these these seats are firm, aren't they? Um, these are firm, but they're fine for a line like this. Yeah. You're not going to be spending long sitting here, um, and it's a nice touch having table table seats here. But I have to rant about armrests. There aren't any. No armrests. You've got to make your own with umbrellas. And if you didn't already know, of course, this is Jen on the move. I'll leave a link to her YouTube channel in the description below. I would suggest you check that out because her channel is great. Thank you, Chris. So these units are actually a train of two halves because they are basically an electrical multiple unit which have been converted to a hybrid train. So where I'm sat now is one of the driving vehicles where you can hear the nice traction whine, which I'm sure many of you will appreciate. Now I'm sat in one of the middle carriages on this three car train and this is where the four engines are housed. So they're basically the engines top up the batteries but they can also be used to power the traction motors under acceleration. So currently well, I think the driver's on full acceleration now. The engines are probably about as loud as they're going to be and I'll just be quiet for a second just so you can hear those engines. So there is a little bit of an audible rattle from the engines. It's more to do with the fixture and fittings than, uh, more than anything, but I don't think the sound of these engines at full rev is any more intrusive than a Class 150. In fact, I'd probably say a Class 150 is a lot louder than this, and the, uh, the rattle is a lot more intrusive than these ones. But if you prefer the sound of a traction motor, you can go and sit in one of the driving carriages. I think passengers will be relieved to see there is a toilet on these units. Unlike the 230s on the Marston Vale line, these uh, three car class 230s do have a uh, PRM compliant disabled access toilet there, just a standard toilet really. And this is next to the space for wheelchair. So we've got the tip up seats here. Uh, we've got charging points for wheelchair users and they're just standard tip up seats. And there is a further help point and charging point over here as well. And this quite big space here and this is where the ramp's located as well so everything's kind of in one compartment off the train if you like. So as you'd come to expect from any new train they do have charging points which like many trains are between the two seats so there's one plug per two seats and two USB charging points and the same is true for the table seats. 
A nice other little touch on these units is the overhead storage for small bags. The storage does seem to be every other, I guess you'd call it compartment between each of the doors. There's three doors on each of the carriages if you remember. But yeah, it's just a nice, nice little touch. So that's the Class 230. I know I might be a little bit biased, but I think they're fantastic trains. And I've seen a few passengers getting on board who genuinely seem uh, pleasantly surprised by the trains. And not just the fact that there's an actual train running, but they do seem genuinely pleasantly surprised with the actual trains, which do, for all intents and purposes, look like brand new trains, especially when you compare them to the 150s, which, although have been refurbed, are very noisy and do look a little bit dated now, whereas this just seems like a thoroughly modern train. So there we are, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing, it really would be appreciated and it helps the channel grow, but I'm gonna leave it there for today. Say until next time, bye-bye.